Imogene King was a nursing theorist renowned for her development of the nursing theory, the theory of goal attainment. Imogene King was born on January 30th, 1923 in West Point, Iowa. During high school, she decided to pursue a career in teaching. However, her uncle, the town surgeon, offered to pay her tuition to nursing school. She accepted the offer, seeing this to escape life in a small town. Imogene excelled in her nursing studies. She received her nursing diploma from St. John's Hospital of Nursing in St. Louis, Missouri in 1945. In 1948, she earned her Bachelor of Nursing from St. Louis University. She continued for her Master's of Science in Nursing, which was also received from St. Louis University. And in 1961, Imogene received her doctoral degree from Teachers College, Columbia University. Imogene held a variety of staff nursing, education, research, and administrative roles throughout her professional career. In 1947 to 1958, she was an instructor in medical surgical nursing and assistant director at St. John's Hospital School of Nursing. In 1966 to 1968, she was an assistant chief of research, Grants Branch, Division of Nursing at the U.S. Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. In 1968 to 1972, she was a director of the School of Nursing at Ohio State University in Columbus. In 1969, King conducted a World Health Organization nursing research seminar in Manila, Philippines. She became close acquaintances with Midori Sujimori of Japan, who later translated King's two very influential theory books in Japanese. King returned to Chicago in 1972 as a professor in the Loyola University graduate program. From 1972 to 1975, King was a member of the Defense Advisory Committee on Women and Services for U.S. Department of Defense. In 1980, King moved to Tampa, Florida and became professor at the University of South Florida College of Nursing. King retired in 1990 and was named Professor Emeritus at the University of South Florida. Imaging King's following notary works are Theory for Nursing, Systems, Concepts, Process, The Language of Nursing Theory and Meta Theory, Toward a Theory for Nursing, General Concepts of Human Behavior, Curriculum and Instruction in Nursing, Concepts and Processes. Imaging King died in 2008, two days after suffering from a stroke. King's memorial services were held January 4th in St. Pete Beach, Florida. Her burial was on January 19th in Fort Madison, Iowa. She was celebrated by a plethora of her colleagues. Next, we're going to be talking about Imogene King's philosophical underpinnings. In the early 1960s, the nursing profession faced many serious problems, such as not enough people coming into the nursing profession, lack of research on problems in nursing, and misusing the nurses that were available to take care of patients. Misusing nurses and nursing personnel was evidenced by splitting patient care into different jobs that were carried out by different members of the nursing staff. It was felt that the nursing care was depersonalized when this was the case. However, this practice was heavily used throughout the 1940s, the 1950s, and the 60s. This practice did not produce a conducive environment to allow for interpersonal relationships. However, later in the 1960s, primary nursing became the preferred method of nursing patient assignment and was very beneficial to the nurse-patient relationship opening the door for a theory on goal attainment achieved in part by the nurse-patient interpersonal relationship. The theory of goal attainment lists several assumptions relating to individuals, nurse-client interactions, and nursing. Assumptions include human beings are social, rational, reacting beings. They are also controlling, purposeful, action-oriented, and time-oriented in their behavior. The interpersonal relationship allows a person to grow and develop to attain certain life goals. There are three interacting systems in the theory of goal attainment, personal system, interpersonal system, and the social system. Each system is given different concepts. Perception is the process of human transactions with the environment. It involves organizing and interpreting sensory data from memory. Communication is a process by which information is given from one person to another, either directly face-to-face -face or indirectly. It involves interpersonal and interpersonal exchanges. Interaction is the start in a process of perception and communication. It can be between person to person or person to environment. All verbal and nonverbal behaviors are part of this interaction. Transaction is process of interactions in which human beings communicate with the environment to achieve goals that are valued. They are goal-directed of human behaviors. Stress is a dynamic state in which humans interact with the environment to maintain balance for growth, development, and performance. It exchanges the information between human and environment 
for regulation and control of stressors. The basis for Imaging King's work is von Bertalanffy's general systems model. Von Bertalanffy is quoted as stating, the general systems theory's premise is that complex systems share organizing principles which can be discovered and modeled mathematically. There are principles, laws, and models that pertain to generalized systems regardless of what kind of system they are, the nature of their component elements, and the relationships they share. The general systems model consists of universal principles that can be applied to systems in general, no matter the discipline. McGowan and Willis, in 2014, quoted as stating that the science of wholeness elucidated in the model gave her hope that the complexity of nursing could be studied as an organized whole. The model consists of three systems that all interact, and each system has a different set of concepts, as defined previously. In this diagram, you will get a visual of the dynamic of the conceptual systems. A model of patient interaction. This diagram demonstrates a visual of the model and the systems coming together. The nurse and the patient come together and exchange information to obtain a nurse-patient reciprocal relationship and accurate understanding and perception of each other. This is the action. The actions and reactions together form the interaction and when the interaction is effective due to both the nurse and the patient trying to attain a similar goal, that successful interaction is a transaction. The theory of goal attainment is useful in different aspects of nursing practice. One example is its usefulness in education. According to McEwen and Willis, 2014, King's theory of goal attainment was the framework for the baccalaureate program at Ohio State University School of Nursing, and the content of the program and process of teaching at all levels was determined by the theory. The theory of goal attainment is also useful in practice when conducting nursing research. McEwen and Willis, 2014, note research done to assess the knowledge of nursing around feelings toward ostomy care was conducted with theory attainment as a guide. That research concluded staff nurses found when there are limited opportunities, it is difficult to keep their clinical abilities up to date. And in order to keep their skills current, creative teaching interventions could be a requirement. Here's a patient case scenario. A patient has been referred to a diabetes clinic because they are having trouble managing their blood sugar. The patient's blood sugars are out of control. Going into the meeting, the nurse perceives the patient as non-compliant with his insulin. However, after talking with the patient, the nurse realizes her perception was wrong and that the patient does not fully understand carb counting and coverage. She now understands that the patient is in need of education. The nurse educates the patient and makes sure he understands all that is involved with his diagnosis and controlling his blood sugar. The patient feels that the nurse understood what was holding him back and was invested in helping him. Together, they come up with a plan to assure the patient is doing the carb counting, using the proper coverage to get his blood sugars under control. The nurse uses her resources at the diabetes clinic to put together a package that helps the patient understand what needs to be done to get his sugars under control. On the next patient visit, it is noted that his sugars have been within normal limits and he's feeling much better. Using concepts in the goal attainment theory, the goal set by the patient and the nurse was achieved and together they will make sure that the patient continues down this path of health. Theory testability. Parts of the theory of goal attainment have been tested and a number of research studies reported in literature that they use this model as a conceptual framework. One example of recent research using the theory of goal attainment is Juan and Kim's 2017 study of effects of group counseling program based on goal attainment theory for middle school students with emotional and behavioral problems. The sample included 44 middle school students with emotional and behavioral problems. Data was collected from July 30th to September 24th, 2015. The experimental group received the eight session program scheduled once a week with each session lasting 45 minutes. Outcome variables include self-esteem, interpersonal relationship, and school adjustment. These results indicate that the group counseling program based on goal attainment theory is very effective in increasing self-esteem, interpersonal relationships, and school adjustment for the middle school students with emotional and behavioral problems. Therefore, it is recommended that the group counseling program based on an attainment theory used as an effective psychiatric nursing intervention for mental health promotion and prevention of mental illness. According to McEwen and Willis, 2014, King's conceptual system and theory is not parsimonious. According to McEwen and Willis, 2014, King's conceptual system and theory is not parsimonious. This is due to having numerous concepts, multiple assumptions, many statements, and many relationships on multiple levels. 
The complexity of the system mirrors the complexity of human transactions for the attainment of goals. King's model is general and universal and can be the umbrella for many mid-range and practice theories. Imaging King's work has been the basis for development of several middle-range theories. One such use of King's conceptual framework and theory of goal attainment was used by the Decker School of Nursing to develop a curriculum that supported educating nursing students in telehealth communication and assessment. Recognizing that there were new technological ways that nurses were interacting with their clients, the Decker School of Nursing decided to implement educating their students on telehealth communication. Major concepts of the theory of goal attainment, such as environment, perception, communication, interaction, and transactions, were interwoven into the school's education plan to assist in teaching students about how telehealth can be used to care for patients. While learning how to use telehealth in healthcare delivery, undergraduate students learn to use therapeutic communication skills and the importance of effective listening, a hallmark of King's work. Graduate level students use telehealth to support decision making, an important concept in King's work as well. Imogen King was a nursing professor, scholar, and a theorist. She was one of the profession's true pioneers. Her conceptual frameworks and theories have shaped the modern concept of evidence-based practice and helped define how we understand and talk about the science of nursing today.